Okay, so I've got my Cloud Survey app set up. It's set up to communicate with a, a cloud-based instance of CouchDB that I've set up over at Couch1 called Tropo. And I've made the uh, necessary changes in my uh, application code that I got from GitHub to communicate with that uh, instance. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send an outbound message um, on the IM channel. And I have basically set up a, a um, Jabber IM account and assigned it to this application. Very easy to do with Tropo. I could have set up an account on one of many channels, but I decided to keep it simple and just use a simple Jabber account. And I'm going to use uh, my messaging token that's in my account settings, and I'm going to send an outbound message to myself. Uh, you can see I'm just doing a very simple uh, get via curl on the command line, and I'm passing in um, the address of the person that is me that I'm contacting. And you can see I'm just going to send this very simple question. And what I want to do is I want to get the answer to that question, and I want to store it in a cloud-based instance of CouchDB. So let's do that. Okay, my message is sent, and uh, it has arrived in my IM client. And the question is, how did you like your rental car? I loved it very fast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that back. And if you come over here to our cloud-based instance of CouchDB, you can see that I now have a new document. And that document has in it uh, all of the information that I wanted to maintain. The question I was asked, uh, who the question was asked to, in this case it was me, and the response that I gave. That's the power of Tropo as a cloud communication platform and pairing it with uh, cloud-based tools like CouchDB from Couch1. But what's really cool is, let's say I sent out these questions um, uh, to a bunch of users and they had the option of responding immediately or responding later, say when they open their IM client sometime later. What if I wanted to basically um, watch CouchDB and get notified of changes when something occurred? Well, CouchDB makes that very simple. It's called the Changes API. And you can see here, I'm just going to do a simple get to the changes endpoint for my database. And you can see there is one document in there. Uh, but let's say I wanted to watch this thing. I wanted to set up a persistent connection, and I wanted to watch it for a long time. Uh, I would simply add a few query string parameters to that simple get request I just did. Uh, basically, I'm telling CouchDB, I want to watch the Changes API. I want the feed to be continuous, meaning I want to set up a persistent connection. And what I'm doing here is I'm telling it every 10 seconds, every 10,000 milliseconds, give me a heartbeat, give me a new line so that my uh, curl client, in this case just curl from the command line, uh, won't close down if I don't get anything for a while. So let me fire that off. You can see this first document was the, the one we just saw up here. Um, so now every time I answer a question or every time a user that we send a survey question to answers their question and the document gets inserted into CouchDB, we should see uh, a new line come in uh, with information in JSON format uh, into our terminal window here. Now you can see every 10 seconds it's going to just drop a new line because I've told CouchDB, hey, give me a heartbeat every 10 seconds so my, uh, my HTTP client doesn't close down. So let's run through that again. I'm going to send myself same question, basically. And here it is, my IAM client. How did you like your rental car? It was the best. Can't wait to rent from you again. So let me send that back. And we'll come over to our CouchDB instance. And yep, you can see now we have another document. So let's take a look at our terminal window and see if we got notice of that. And we did. There it is. You can see that. Uh, whoops. You can see that uh, the new change came in uh, as a new line with uh, JSON structure that has the particulars of the document that was just inserted. There it is. CouchDB and Tropo.